Hey guys, Lucy here from LucyAmbrose.com. Today I am going to show you how to set up an ad on Facebook and this particular ad is going to be an ad that um, I want people to go back to my website or to buy a product and a service. So this is a tutorial on how to set up an ad on Facebook where the goal is um, to get clicks back to your website to encourage people to um, buy a product or a service or perform some kind of action on your website. So um, this video is being recorded on the last day of February 2022. There's just been some changes um, in Facebook. So this is using the new, um, the new interface on Facebook. So um, let's just get started. Right, I'll make myself a little bit smaller. So first things first, you want to jump into your um, business profile on Facebook. Then you can either click on create an ad over here or you can click on ad center over here. So I'm just going to select this and it's going to bring up the ad center. So then we can click this big blue button over on the side, which says create ad. Um, and then I am going to create a new ad. Over here, where it says the goal, I'm going to select this button here, which says change. Now what I'm going to do here, as I've said, the intent of this particular ad is I want to get people back to my website um, onto a particular, particular product or service that I want to promote for this ad so the goal for this ad is to get more website visitors so you can choose whichever um, goal is more relevant to you um, but this ad we're going to run through this part here sorry this um, tutorial so um, so that is now the goal of this ad you can see on the right hand side what this ad is going to look like um, so let's get to changing this ad or to customizing it I should say so um, what do we want this ad? So for this ad, I'm going to do a um, an ad that's targeting people to enroll in my um, Facebook course that I have going on. So I'm going to create my um, content to match that. So I'll start with that. And then I will select some information here. The, oh. All right, so that is um, that's okay for what I'm going to do. So, did you know that 55% of buyers do research via social media before making a purchase? Five day Facebook sale and get get your in five days get your Facebook content sorted for five months straight to your inbox once a day for five days. I'll explain what it is. So it's a video tutorial delivered to your inbox once a day for five days. Um, cool. So that is um, that's fine for what I want it to say here. Um, we can select what picture we want to um, show. So you can either upload a new image here or you can choose an image that you've um, previously used on your Facebook page as well. Um, so I'll just use, um, scroll through and pick one. Um, one there so that is my five day facebook challenge image that i use so that is there now i want to change this here so this part here this is the um, button essentially so this is where people um, are going to select this and then it's going to take them to whatever page i want them to go to so instead of headline i'll put um um like five day facebook Ooh, what happened there facebook challenge um, and then I don't want it to say apply now um, I might have it say I can't see because of my little screen there um, 
probably either a sign up or learn more. Um, so either learn more or sign up. I think I will do learn more um, because there's a lot more information to it. So then I will um, copy the domain or the URL that I want them to go to and that pop that there. So now if you scroll up when it um, presents the preview, you can see it's changed to um, to that, what we've chosen there. Now, the audience. So this is who we want to see the ad. So I will um, generally create a new audience um, here. Um, and I will might say, so Facebook course audience and select a new audience. Um, here you can choose whether you want to target male or females or both genders. Um, so I'll keep that as all, and then you can select the age. So for me, it's um, my target is business owners um, who are generally kind of 35 plus. So I'll just drag this up to 35. So now you can see I'm targeting people that are age 35 to 65. Here is where you can select your location. So um, I'm in New Zealand, um, and well, although anyone in the world can take this course, this ad, I'll just target New Zealand, um, New Zealanders. Uh, so you can, and you can select more than one location here, so you can type in another one, um, but New Zealand is fine for me. Then we'll scroll down. Now here is where it gets really interesting. So here is where you put all the details of your target market. So the more specific you get in here, the more likely your ad is to convert. Because if you can really narrow or identify or narrow down your target market, your ideal clients, um, or who it is exactly that you want to see this ad, you're going to get more bang, bang for buck. You'll get more conversions because it's speaking or it's connecting directly to those people. So it automatically brings up um, suggestions that we, um, I've used before in past ads. So that's why you can see those. Um, but for me, again, I target business owners. So I um, might select um, entrepreneurship, home business, all these ones here. And you can see it's bringing them up here. So that is fine. Now, um, here you can type in any, so if, you know, you're targeting people that are interested in um, travel or interested in fitness or interested in um, nature, you know, there's all sorts of ta um, targeting that you can put here. So, for example, if I put fitness, you can choose any of these that, you know, people might be interested in. Um, if you want, I don't know, let's put beauty just to show you. So just type in any of your kind of keywords there and select the thing. You can select as many as you want um, in here. And what it does is it will show the ad to anyone that's interested in one any one of these. They don't have to be interested in all of them. Um, but if they're just interested in one of them, then it will show the ad to them. And how Facebook knows um, that if they're interested in these things, is it looks at the pages that people have liked, um, page or the ads that they look at, um, the Facebook pages they look at, and also other internet um, websites that they browse. So that's kind of how Facebook knows all this stuff. But yeah, so get really detailed in here, um, add as many as you want to in here, and then they'll come up in blue once you've selected them. So that is fine for this ad here. Um, and if you scroll down, you can see we're in the green here. So we're, what this is saying is that it's a good number of people to um, promote this ad to. If it's red, then you'll want to add more. And if it's um, too, sorry, if it's if it's too, if it's red, you've added too many. It's too targeted, and it's not going to reach many people. Um, and if it's um, broad, if it's yellow over here, it just means that um, you should add a couple more um, detailed targeting options in there. So that's that. So we'll scroll down and save that. And cool. So that's there. So that's selected. That is all good. So then we'll scroll down um, to duration. So this is saying how long we run to run the ad for and how much we want to spend on it. So um, if you've seen any of my videos or um, talked to me before, you know that I generally recommend starting with uh, three to five days, $30. Um, to why I do that is... Um, it's a good period of time to know if the ad is going to work or not. Um, $30 isn't so much money that if it doesn't convert anything, it's not, you know, not going to break the bank. It's fine. Um, but if it does convert, then, um, and if it does do well, then I'll extend it and ex extend the time and add to the budget. 
but three days or three to five days, $30 is a pretty good, you know, like, is this going to work or is this not going to work? Then I'll jump in, um, have a look at the results, either change things up and then rerun it, or if it looks like it's working well, I will just add to the budget, add to the time. So three to five days, $30. So for this one, I will run it for three days and I will do, um, so over here is, you can see the total budget. So at the moment it's $7 a day. So we'll just bring that up to $30 there. Ignore this. Facebook just really want you to um, spend money with them. So things like this um, <coughs> is fine. <laughs> I ignore that. I'll still check out the results, what I'm getting after three days. It, can, it says here what I can kind of expect to receive from um, this ad. So that's fine. We'll just see what, what happens there. If we scroll down um, here, we can see placements. So for ads, you can select whether um, you want to display them just on Facebook or if you also want them to display on Instagram and Messenger. Um, I tend to untick these. Um, I tend to normally just run ads on Facebook. It really depends on your target market or your kind of business model. But I know for me, a lot of my um, target market is just on Facebook. They're not on Instagram or Messenger. So um, I tend to kind of get more bang for buck if I do Facebook. But again, trial and error. Pixel, um, I haven't set up my Pixel for this website yet. So I won't display that. Um, and just um, the payment method, you'll put in your credit card there. Um, and then that's all set up to go. So if we scroll up, we can see what it is, what it's going to look like. Um, so that's it there. I'm happy with that. So I'll just click this big blue button down the bottom that says promote now. Now what happens is it's going to submit the ad. It goes through kind of um, an automatic check. Um, so normally within about 15 minutes, I'll get a notification to say, yep, your ad's been approved and it's running. And then I can um, check it. So again, at the first stage that we did was clicking through to the ad center. That's where we'll go to um, check how the ad is running. So you can, so we're in the ad center now, and obviously it's not running yet, but here is where we'll be able to see how it's tracking throughout the next three days. Um, so that's that. Um, that's how to run an ad on Facebook. If you've got any questions, pop them below. Otherwise, subscribe, like, all that jazz, lucyambrose.com for more, and I'll see you for my next video. Thank you.